In this video, we're going over hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy A01. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time you post new videos. Also, if you want to see some really cool accessories for this phone, make sure you click in the description below. So just tap on the little arrow next to the title of the video and you'll see right here, you need this for your Samsung Galaxy A01 and you'll find our favorite accessories for this phone. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's talk about some of the cool hidden features you'll find on this phone. The first one being how to quickly launch your camera from any screen that you're on. Simply, you just take the power button and tap it twice and it'll automatically launch your camera for you. Even if your phone is off and you have a password on it, it doesn't matter. Just hit that power button twice and it automatically will turn the phone on and take you right to the camera. Also just noticed the screen's a little dirty, so I apologize for that. Okay, moving on to our second hidden feature. So maybe you say to yourself, oh, the camera thing is cool, but I don't take a lot of pictures. I'd rather that double tap do something else. There's a way you can reprogram that button so that when you double tap it, it'll launch a different app instead of the camera. So the way to do this is just hold down the power button and then tap on side key settings. And here you can change it. So instead of it launching the camera, you can tap it, uh, open an app and then pick an app that you use a lot. For example, maybe you play Candy Crush a lot and you want quick access to it. You could simply just have Candy Crush be your shortcut or something I think is super useful is um, the device care app, which whenever you run that, it will automatically clear out your RAM and close out anything that's running in the background that's slowing down your phone. So just to show you how this would work now, if I double tap that, it'll take me right here and I can tap optimize now and then it'll quickly scan the phone, close down any apps again that are running, that are draining the battery and make sure your phone is running fast and smooth. So that's a cool way to repurpose that button to do other things. Now moving on to number three, our third hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to run two apps at one time. That's right, with this phone you can do split screen and have two apps running. So let me show you how this works. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, the easiest way to do it is find the app you want to be at the top of the screen. Open that first, so I'm gonna tap here. By the way, if you don't have this button, this is an app drawer. I talk about this in our tips and tricks video, so if you haven't seen that one, check that one out in case you want that little app drawer button right there on the side. So I want YouTube to be at the top of the screen, so I'm gonna to go to this folder here and tap on YouTube. Wait for it to open, and now I'm gonna go home. And then the second app I want on the screen is Google Chrome, which is right here. So I'm gonna open that app. And then I'm gonna go home again. Now you're gonna tap on this recent apps button right here. Go to YouTube and tap on the play button at the top. And then go to open in split screen view. And then tap Google Chrome to show up at the bottom. And now I can have uh, these two apps running at the same time. And to me, the best way to run this is have a video playing at the top. Maybe you're watching something on YouTube. Let's turn that volume down so it's not too loud. So I can have this video playing and at the bottom here, I can scroll through Google Chrome. I could be searching websites, looking up the news for the day. And that video is just gonna keep playing. Now, the cool thing too is you can also rotate your phone in the landscape position and it will rotate with you as well. So here I continue to scroll through. I can read and have my video playing on the left side here. So that is how you run two apps at one time. If you decide you want a different app to be on the screen, you can simply tap on this button here. And now I can find another app that's already running. Maybe you want to switch to your settings. No problem. I can have my settings open and scroll through and still have that video playing. Now in the middle of the screen, you have this little dash here. When you're ready to get out of split screen, just take your finger on that little dash and just swipe it to the right. And it will take you out of split screen and take you back to a full screen view. And that is how to run two apps at one time, how to do the split screen. And also this is kind of cool. You can also have your video open in a pop-up window. 
So this is something uh, with YouTube and certain video apps, not every video app, but some will allow you to do this. Um, so the trick is the video needs to be playing. So if I pause the video and I hit my home button, the video is not gonna open in split screen. But if I have the video running, so make sure it's playing first, and then I hit the home button, it will keep the video playing and I can move it to any one of these four corners of the screen and I continue to use my phone to do other things. I can go check text messages, whatever. It's all gonna um, uh, still flow while the video is playing. Now, if you wanna close out that video or make it bigger, just tap on it, hit this button to make it bigger or this button to close it. And that is basically using split screen, but also the pop-up view for video as well. Now, moving on to our third hidden feature, we're gonna talk about how to quickly jump between your apps, which is called quick app switching. So uh, just like we did before, uh, we're gonna open uh, each app. So let's say I'm in Google Chrome and I'm reading an article and someone is texting me back and forth, I'm in a conversation. What I can easily do is I can hit this button here, which is my recent apps button. If I hit it twice quickly, it will jump to whatever the last app that I was using, uh, it'll jump right to it. So hit it twice and it'll automatically jump to that last app. So that's a really easy way to just go back and forth. The way normal people do it is they would tap the button and then they go over, go here, or some people will go home and then they'll go back to the app. That kind of takes a long time. This way is much more efficient just hitting the button twice and you can just simply move back and forth between those two apps. Now for our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to get more apps on your home screen. So right now you can get um, four apps across and I believe, uh, I think four or five up and down. But let me show you this little tip here. Hold down on the home screen and we're gonna go to home screen settings and where it says home screen grid, you can change it from a four by five, which is four across and five rows going up to four by six. Now I have an extra row for apps or I can do a five by five, extra row at the bottom and an extra column on the side or a five by six. This will allow you to get a lot more apps on your screen as well as a lot of widgets if you use a lot of widgets too. Hit save and now we'll have a lot more room. Our apps will be a little bit smaller, um, but again, we'll have more room to work with on our home screen. And for our final hidden feature, we're going to unlock the developer options and we're gonna enable a feature where if your phone is plugged into uh, power, you can keep your screen on uh, as long as you want. So let me show you how to do this. We're gonna go to settings, mine is down here, but you may need to swipe down from the top and the upper right corner, click on the settings wheel. We're gonna swipe up until we get to about phone. Now normally you won't have this developer option right away, I'm gonna show you how to get that option. That's where we're gonna make this change. So go to about phone, and then we're gonna to go to the software information, and then look for where it says build number, which is right here, and we're gonna just tap. And then this will unlock the developer option. Then we'll go back two steps, and then go to developer options. And in the upper right corner, click on the magnifying glass and type in stay. And we're looking for an option that's called stay awake. And with stay awake, your screen will never go to sleep as long as it's plugged into uh, power. So for stay awake, I'm gonna tap here. You're gonna come down to here. Screen will never sleep while charging. And now your screen will always stay on as long as it's plugged into a power cable. And that's it guys, that's a really easy tweak where if your phone is plugged into power, your screen is always gonna stay on. Hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Do us a favor, leave us a comment down below and let us know that your two favorite hidden features that we shared in the video, whether it was something that you didn't know that you learned for the first time, or it's one that you use all the time but maybe didn't know how to do it on this phone. We'd love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, take care, and as always, have a good one.